guys, today I'll be showing you how to go and homebrew your Nintendo Switch on 16.0.1. There are a couple of risks to doing this, so stay tuned. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to Is My Switch Patched? I'll have a link in the description. You gotta find your serial code, the six digits on your Switch and System Settings. And and if you input that code, it'll determine if it's patched or unpatched. And if it's patched, then you can't you can't follow the guide, unfortunately. So the next thing you'd want to do is if you have an unpatched switch, you want to go to my Discord server and download the files. I'll have my Discord server linked below in the description. The files are Hakate, Atmosphere, and the signature patches in order to run custom firmware. So now on your Nintendo Switch, you want to make sure to fully power off the system before turning it into recovery mode. So now there's a couple of things that you can do to have the Nintendo Switch in recovery mode. One is using an RCM jig, but it is possible to use a little piece of tinfoil in between the right Joy-Con. And if you slip that, you can just put it into recovery mode, safe and sound. Now you just want to eject the SD card out from the Nintendo Switch and put it into your computer. Now back on the desktop, you want to make sure to go and put the files from my Discord server into the SD card of the Nintendo Switch, which is Atmosphere, Hakate, and the Signature files. And now you want to go to the website called Tegra RCM and download the Tegra RCM installer. Should take a little bit. Once it's finished downloading, we can then open it up. So now once you have the RCM GUI installer on your desktop, you want to open the, the wizard and click next on all of the options until you can install it. And that way, Tegra RCM GUI should successfully be installed on your desktop. Now, the next thing you need to do is just run Tegra RCM GUI and install the drivers, the APX driver. Should take a few seconds. And then, boom, it is done. So now back on your Nintendo Switch, you want to hold the power button and the volume up button for 10 seconds. And then go back onto your uh, desktop and then you can see RCM OK. But now you want to reopen Hakate and take out the .bin file and put it back onto your desktop. Now once you do that, you just want to press the little eyeglass button and then select that file. And then click Inject Payload, and you should see a screen on your Nintendo Switch. So now on the Nintendo Switch, you want to make sure to go to Launch, assuming that everything is working, and then click CFW Sys MMC. And not long after, you'll get the Atmosphere logo, followed by the Nintendo Switch logo should appear right in there. And now you've successfully installed a custom firmware on a Nintendo Switch. I'm going to go to system settings to see the proof that we actually got it and it says AMS 1.1 or 1.5.1 which means that we successfully installed custom firmware. So the way to open up Homebrew is you want to go to Album, and then there you go, there you have it. 